Taurus, this is your weekly reading. Let's see, we already have one here. Wait, okay, okay. I see you helping a person out. I feel like you are contracted to help this person out. Because through helping them, you are helping yourself. Huh, interesting. Through helping them, you unload the, the burden that's on you. This will make you feel as if, like it, it will make you feel as if like you are putting your priorities right. Because once you prioritize something that's important to you, rather than collecting few things that don't even fucking matter to you, but you're doing them for the sake of it, it's like your priorities are being organized little by little. And it's through that prioritization you are finding meaning. And through that meaning you are helping someone or others through that recognition or realization. Yeah, wow. You are healing yourself through helping others. You don't even know it. Maybe you do, maybe, because if you are religious, you know it. If you believe in the higher power, if you believe there is a higher power, there is a divine, power over you you might know it feel it but if you don't you don't even know it you are guided to you think that's your choice we all have free or free will but to some extent sometimes we are contracted to do things in our life that we are oblivion to this is one of these things where you don't know that you are meant to be doing this. Some of you know because you could be religious or spiritual. And then you can move on. So there is someone or some people here that you are meant to help through something. And through helping them, you will be helping yourself. And through helping yourself, you will be like, okay, that's done. To the next, to the next chapter in my life. Hmm. Yes, that's when you will feel yourself again. Because I see here that you could not feel yourself 100% until you help those people or help that someone and then you will feel like okay so that's done now I can feel like myself again now I can do something for myself you will get recognition from this I feel like once you do whatever this is the helping others your ego will be humbled. Hmm. We have a different energy here. Look at that. We have someone that is interested in you romantically. We have someone here that has feelings for you and they want to move towards you they feel very strongly about you Taurus look at that the chariot and the sun along with the page of uh, cups this is someone that is very interested in you and they're coming towards you 
you might not even know that this person even exists until they make a move towards you. Is this okay, so this person is afraid to come clean. It's like this person likes to control their feelings and sometimes you can't do that. Because if you try to control your feelings, you become obsessed or become obsessed about one thing and not the other. There is something about them not wanting to realize how strongly they feel about you, but they do feel strongly about you. And this person is trying to put their ego aside to approach you. This person is, is getting humbled as we speak because they're realizing things about themselves that's allowing them to move forward towards you without any restrictions, without any assumptions, without any judgments, without any control over the outcome. Okay, so I feel like this person is guided towards you. This person is not very spiritual, but they are still guided towards you. This person has gone through a lot of shit to realize that uh, it's time for them to move towards you. Hmm. You could know this person, but you don't know how deep this is to them. You could know of this person, but you don't know maybe how they feel or what they're going through. Because this person is the type of person that will keep things to themselves and not share it. Yeah, this person is not a strong believer, but they are still guided towards you. Doesn't matter what they believe in, they are still part of the, the design. So it doesn't matter if this person is, you know, a very logical person or a very scientific person. Uh, they are still moving towards you. They are still moving towards you because they are guided to, even if they don't know it. Okay. <laughs> there will be a time for this person where they realize they're not really in control. They will realize that it's really not up to them what they come in contact with. The only thing that they can control is their will when they decide yes or no. But nonetheless, they will still meet you. They will still come in contact with you. They will still realize that they have feelings for you. They will still come forward towards you. It's like, yeah, you can, you can try to control things, but not when it's divine, not when you're meant to meet someone on purpose. When you come to this life, you already have a bunch of people lined up, agreed to meet them and to either learn, some, learn something from them or give them something to learn. So there is this exchange of energy that has to happen in this connection or in this union. And this, person, this person will realize that it's not really up to them to either meet you or not. It will happen and then they can either accept it or reject it. And if it's like a contract, they cannot really reject it until they learn something from it, you know? So it will keep on repeating, even if it's not with you, it will repeat in the same energy. So even if it's a different face, they will still have to learn something from it. So the contract is not faces, the contract is spirit, the contract is energy. So even if they try to avoid you, 
they will come in contact with someone that is like you spiritually energetically that they will have to learn from or maybe go forward towards and have a live happily ever, ever after but there is no point in resisting it because this person will realize that oh shit but well maybe i don't control everything duh Yeah, there will be communication between the two of you that, well, that might seem even confused, but that communication will make sense later. Okay. So some things will be said and done that might be confusing, but it will make sense later. And once it makes sense, there will be relief, there will be fulfillment, you could even choose to be together, like I said, happily ever, ever after. You could put your um, assumptions aside and really be with this person, whether this is you or them, because I feel like you two have the ego in common. You will be obsessed about each other. Once all this energy clears out, the confusion clears out, you will be obsessed about each other. Okay then. <laughs> That's what I have for you, Taurus. I'll see you soon.